Hi everyone, welcome to another video. I got this very awesome comment in one of my videos and I was like, okay, I have to make a video about this. And actually the ask of the comment was also to make a video about it. So here I am, um, I'm making that video. I wanted to make it sooner, but uh, if you follow me on LinkedIn, you would know that I've come to Tokyo for a conference and I'm recording this video from there. Uh, so that's why it took a little bit of time, but uh, let's dive into that comment. So here I think uh, the main lines are these. So let's start from there. I'm working as an IM engineer in Azure. In the process, I have understood many things like HTTP, HTTPS, SSL, CAs, OpenID, OAuth, SAML, CodeFlow, client credentials, and all these things. I understand other administrative technology. Let's say someone is a Linux admin or someone is managing networks only support job roles. What is the primary most basic technology I should learn to get my first job in DevOps at a minimum salary 10 to 12 LPA lakhs per annum? Once I get into any DevOps role, I can learn further parallel to my job rather than working in current role and accumulating DevOps tech knowledge in a hope that once I will learn all the things, then I'll switch to DevOps. It industry as a whole is so wide. Very true. As per your knowledge, what are the few things minimum I can learn first, switch to DevOps role and then improve skills in that field? So basically, if you see this question, uh, there are two parts to it. One is they are working as an IAM engineer and then um, they want to switch to DevOps, but they don't want to spend too much time because DevOps is a vast field, as they mentioned, and it's very true as well. And they just want to get started, learn few things and then get into the job and then learn parallel. So they're asking what can be the bare minimum skills that they can learn and then secure a job and uh, of 10 to 12 lakhs per annum. And uh, then uh, after that, they can enhance or learn on the job in parallel. So that's one. And the second one is they mentioned, okay, uh, it, it's a strategy which I will come to later and I couldn't agree more. But uh, before I dive into that question, I just wanted to you know share a couple of things to just set the context. So yeah, it's very true that a DevOps era is a very wide uh, space and uh, that's why you have to learn a lot of things, right? Terraform, Kubernetes, Jenkins, building CICD pipelines, maybe Argo CD if some uh, company is using it and a lot of other things like cloud, scripting, Python, Linux, networking, a lot of things, right? So it's very easy for someone who is getting started to get overwhelmed, which is, I feel okay. Uh, this field is like that way, but if you spend some time, three to six months, you'll get used to it. But here we are talking about what is the bare minimum to learn, right? So that is just one context that I wanted to put, like, yeah, there are so many things to learn, right? So that's why this question is making sense because I think this question, a lot of people will have as well. So, Basically, when I started, you know, I started from Cognizant and if you have been seeing my videos, you would know that I start from there. I learned the cloud, uh, which was AWS and then, uh, you know, expanded on my skills like Terraform, Kubernetes and all. And then slowly went to a startup, worked there for two years where I learned a lot, not just in terms of technical aspects, but other product side as well and then got into Google. Um, so the the entire thing started from operations right and uh, those night shifts where i was just looking at vms monitoring things and seeing whether they are going down setting up alerts and all those things but throughout that process i was very curious to learn a lot of things right so whenever some new thing was coming on like hey can you script this to automate something i was like yes i'll do it right uh, so the whole idea was just to learn that and uh, two, it took me like two years to just grasp the entire thing, right? It was not that easy and I was learning on the parallel and I got lucky that, okay, from starting I, I got trained in AWS and then it was easy for me to get an entry in DevOps. But this thing will take time, um, right? It's not like uh, you just learn uh, whatever roadmap I have presented in the past. You can check out that video. Um, you just go through it six months and you are done, right? It's not, it doesn't work like that. Or I made a video about the projects, the real world projects that you can do to enhance your DevOps skills. It's not like you do those seven projects and then 
uh, you are done, uh, right? It's it's not like that. Those are just starting points, which um, you know will take you to the next step and will better prepare you for your uh, interviews. But uh, apart from that, there are two types of companies, right? Like uh, service based and uh, product based, right? So as a, a fresher or a beginner, when you are starting out. A particular product company might have a lot of requirements and very niche requirements like they need Terraform, they need GitOps, they need Kubernetes, maybe they need uh, Crossplane. Uh, so there, if you don't know any of these technologies, it, it they might, you know, uh, not hire you because they need those technologies and, you know, talent is available with all those four technologies. So they'll be like, OK, uh, no, this is not a right fit. But if you go for a service based company, right? There, if you know Terraform, Kubernetes, uh, even if you don't know Crossplane or uh, GitOps for that matter, um, I believe that you know uh, the the overall things you know infrastructure as code, then containerization and all. I think you will be uh, a right fit or get hired there uh, because they have customers which just need those two skills. So I'm not saying. Uh, product based are good or service based are good you know it's not uh, the agenda of this uh, particular video right i'm just saying these are some of the things that i have seen so as a fresher if you're starting out so for you it might make sense to work one or two year in a service based company by using those bare minimum skills that you have and gain hands on experience and then transition to a product based company right so this can be one of the things i'm not saying you have to do it and you can't do or directly go to product based you can definitely go right but this is just one thing that i have observed or can be easier for you. So coming back to the question, what can be the bare minimum skills that I should learn? So basically the role of a DevOps engineer is to automate things, build pipelines, write scripts and all. So the bare minimum that you can do should revolve around that as well. So basically you should, you know, at least have a good uh, understanding of how pipelines work. So I made a video, uh, I think, uh, two, three weeks back, and you can check it out here. And you can try out that project where I mentioned uh, use Jenkins to deploy a Terraform uh, resource, right? So you build the entire pipeline. So in the process, you learn you know, how to write the Terraform code and the Jenkins uh, CICD pipeline as a whole. So that is one thing that you should definitely uh, know. And the second thing that I would definitely um, uh, recommend, the bare minimum, is Kubernetes is very hot right now. So if you know that technology and you know how to automate the entire process of uh, Kubernetes, you know, that's the, again, the bare minimum you can do to get hired. Now, you'll say that, hey, you mentioned so many things by saying bare minimum, <laughs> right? You mentioned Jenkins, Terraform, Kubernetes, and automating that entire uh, pipeline of Kubernetes with Jenkins or uh, any GitOps tool. You can say that, but that is the, you know, things you sh should learn because, you know, there are a lot of other things as well, right? And here I'm assuming you already know cloud. So there are a lot of other things as well, like uh, Istio, uh, Crossplane, Prometheus, Grafana, observability, logging, monitoring, all of these things uh, DevOps engineer does, right? But if you focus on this automation, scripting uh, part of the area when you are preparing for a DevOps uh, engineer, I think this is the target that you should have for the bare minimum skills. And I'm not saying that if you do this, uh, you'll get a job. I'm just saying uh, this you should definitely know and the bare minimum. And then once you find jobs related to these technologies, Terraform, Kubernetes, Jenkins, and apply to those and see uh, how uh, well you have prepared and then see if you get a job and then learn in parallel there and then dive deeper into these technologies because I believe until unless you haven't operated in production with all these technologies, you'll not learn, um, right? So that's the bare minimum thing I can recommend. I know uh, it's, I didn't say like learn just Kubernetes because it's not the case. You can't just say like bare minimum, I learn Kubernetes and then I'll get a job or uh, I can work as a DevOps engineer and uh, work in parallel. At least you should know cloud infrastructure as code, 
Kubernetes and automating these things uh, uh, using a CICD tool like Jenkins. So that's about it. And the other thing which uh, I think this uh, comment mentions is no one uh, wants to spend a lot of time just preparing things and then uh, appearing for interview. And I love this particular line because we in our mind we we just make a lot of barriers right like hey i'm not ready for an interview i'm not uh, you know good for an interview i haven't started yet i haven't covered the entire devops space so how, how can i be ready right so i think this line is very important because if you just uh, you know gain the basic essential uh, like what i mentioned here plus you know the computer fundamentals networking security linux and all um, you just go ahead and then start appearing for interviews. You don't have to be fully ready and get feedback from there and then improve on that one. That's why I love this particular line. And then, uh, you know, it's a very nice strategy as well to learn on the job in parallel. So yeah, uh, just to conclude, I think patience is the key. Um, and uh, it, it, you can't just, you know, secure your dream role in just six months or one year, right? It takes some time. Uh, so my recommendation will be to, you know, at least get a holistic view of these tools and learn these uh, automation tools, scripting tools. And then once you get your job, uh, learn in parallel. So I hope uh, I would have answered your question, uh, which you asked in this comment. If not, feel free to uh, connect with me on LinkedIn. I will put a link of my profile in the description below and uh, feel free to ask your question or follow-ups if you have any on LinkedIn and I'll be more than happy to help you. So that's about it. So if you like this video, share this with your friends, hit a like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos around DevOps, cloud, IT in general. And if you like this video, check out this video where I share the roadmap for a DevOps engineer. And uh, until then, you get to live, make the most out of it. Thank you.